Ciao, guys. Welcome back to the Artful Podcast. It's Matteo, your host. And before we go on with the new episode, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, support the channel like that. It's really important. And no further ado, let's go on with the show. Hi guys, welcome back to the Artful Podcast. It's Matteo. I hope your week was great. Um, this is a new episode of the Artful News. Uh, in this um, episode, we uh, in this segment of the podcast, we're gonna talk about uh, news uh, in the art world and what's going on. Um, in this episode, <laughs> we're gonna talk about something um, quite controversial and quite funny, actually. Um, and uh, I can't wait to discuss this with you. But anyway, how, how have you been? Um, it's been uh, actually quite great uh, week. Um, I've been working on my uh, projects and I find a way to... Uh, my last step was to frame the artwork and to make sure that they look the right way or how I wanted to present the, um, the artwork. And I found it. I actually um, tried quite a few times, um, make some uh, experiments on how to frame the uh, painting slash drawing. Maybe one day I'll show you what I mean, what I'm doing. And yeah, I found it. So it was it was pretty. Um, I was pretty happy with the result and. Um, it was quite so there was a great satisfaction in that so now i'm just gonna because it's a series of painting um i need to frame them and uh at the moment i have five painting that i need to frame and yeah so that will be my um for the next couple of months next month maybe um i'll make um I'm going to be able to frame all of them. But yeah, yeah, so uh it's been great. It's been great. I mean, the last episode of the podcast was uh, the immigrant um stories uh series that I'm doing and go check it out. It was really interesting um story. It was Lucy that she shared her story and it was really interesting to sh- uh to see the difference from my ex- experience as an immigrant and her experience as an immigrant but especially because we are coming from two country uh they're really close she was from she was um originally from france um italian and yeah but completely different experience um two stories completely different so that's that's the beauty of the ser- of the series even if it might seems Oh, I'm moving through Europe, so I'm not doing these great, these uh, really long trips, and then I'm just a normal person. It's never like that. You, we always found uh, those really nice um, nuance in the stories that uh, makes every story unique, and that's the point of the whole um, series. So go check it out. The the last episode um and yeah so i'm gonna i'm I'm excited to share this uh, with you guys this uh story so um uh, i want to talk about with the with you about this um event in the in the art world and uh no further ado let's go with the article and here we are um as you can read from the headline um this is something that i really wanted to discuss with you um i read a couple of weeks ago and i will try to find the time to uh record uh, this episode about um about this and it's um oh it's so funny it's so great uh, and there is a re- at the end of the at the end of the episode i will ask you um a specific question um if I remember to do that, <laughs> but yeah, um, let's read. So this is basically um, uh, recently uh, Salvatore Garau, 
I guess that's uh, how you pronounce that. Is an Italian artist, and he recently sold um, an artwork um, that's quite interesting. Uh, he sold an invisible sculpture uh, for around yeah eighteen nineteen thousand uh, dollar. What I mean by invisible sculpture, um, literally. Um, there is nothing. There, there is no, there is nothing that there is no sculpture. There is just. Um, I'll show you a picture later. Um, but yeah, the sculpture it's not there. So, so there is no sculpture. Um, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It seems like I'm not saying anything, but it's because there is nothing there. Like, <laughs> but. Um, and yeah, let's read the article so maybe it's uh, more clear. Um, I have a couple of articles that I want to read. It's the same thing, but um, I have different perspective. So this is from the Artnet News. Um, the, uh, an Italian artist auction of an invisible sculpture for $18,300,000. It's made literally on nothing. That's what the headline said. Um, it's a work that asks you to activate the power of imagination. That's what Salvatore Garau said in of his sculpture. Um, so yeah, he had um, an exhibition and a sculpture um, made of nothing. And his explanation is: um, it's a work that asks you to activate the power of the imagination. Okay, um, let's go read the article uh, from the, the department of um, they sold that uh, for now how much um, comes to the story about an Italian artist who for the cool price of 15,000 uh, euro which is $18,000 recently auctioned an artwork that is well nothing uh, last month, a 67 years old artist, uh, Salvatore Garau, sold an immaterial sculpture. That's what he calls it. Um, immaterial sculpture. Um, immaterial as there is no material. Um, which to say uh, that it doesn't exist. Yeah. Um, to be fair, the artist might, be, might disagree with the conceptual ground. Uh, the artist disagree with, on the conceptual ground for Garau, the artwork titled uh, Io Sono, uh, which translates to I am, finds uh, form in uh, its own nothingness. Uh, so, yeah, the artist uh, disagree to the fact that there is nothing because nothing is something, basically. If find you find something in nothing, that's what he's trying to say. This is so funny to talk about. It's just like uh, play words and try to make sense of the thing. <laughs> Let's continue. The vacuum is nothing more than a space full of energy, and even if we empty it, and there is nothing left, according according to Heisberg, uh, Hans uncertainly principle that nothing has a weight he told the spanish news um outlet oh there's this is not really important let's carry on um yosuno went up to sale in may and at the italian auction uh, house art rite the price sale estimate value between six to nine thousand euro accordingly the price tag was sold for fifteen thousand euro so the lucky buyer <coughs> i'm guessing they are um joking kind of the lucky buyer went home uh, with a certificate of authenticity and he set um and set an auctions their work per garau must be exhibited in a private house with a roughly 
five by five foot space free of obstruction. This is really interesting. And I think we might find that the actual artwork, it's based on this line. Um, I will exp I wanna try to explain late later this. Let's carry on with the article. Uh, when I decide to exhibit an immaterial sculpture in a given space, that space will concrete a certain amount of density of precise a, a precise point, creating a sculpture that, from my title, after all, don't we all don't we shape of a god? Ah, I see. After all, don't we shape a don't we shape a god? we never seen, he added. The artist didn't immediately respond to a request of a comments. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, Yosuno isn't the only artwork of its kind. Garau, um, from Garau in February this year, um, at the Piazza della Scala in Milan, the artist exhibited Buddha in contemplation, a similar invisible sculpture they, by a square of tape, cuddlestone walk away. Mm, don't know what they mean by this. Uh, he says, you don't see it, but it exists. It's made of hair and spirit. He explained in a video documenting the Milan pieces. It's a work that asks you to activate the power of imagination, a power that anyone has, even then, even those who don't believe they have it. Sculpture, those are the most common uh, under the video of the sculpture. I mean, you can really, I will, I wanna play this video, but, this is the artwork, like it's a square taped on the floor. Let's see what's the, this video. So yeah, they are, the video is about, yeah, it's just a vi the video of the square and they are showing the square tape on the floor. I don't, I don't, I don't wanna laugh at the, obviously in this respect, this is not, this any facet, any disrespect to the artist. I'm no um um I don't want to disrespect anyone. Uh, obviously um this goes to the point of like what's art, what's what's not art and yeah it raises the big questions of the artwork which the artists have to do. That's what they have to do. They have to challenge uh, the common sense the, uh, of everyday life, they need to challenge uh, the ordinary and um, they have to raise questions and this culture really definitely um, raise some questions. So obviously I'm not trying to disrespect anyone here, especially obviously the artist and who bought the artwork. Um, but yeah, we are just commenting on the on the fact that this sculpture exists and what happened and why it was such a scandal. Um, I saw really uh, long, a lot of um, videos on Instagram and on social media about this this one, and it's quite interesting to explore. And there is the question that I want to ask after, so. Keep in mind that. And the nothingness that's um that's been mentioned in the article. Is it real? Like the the value of the sculpture is because there's nothing and and gives the opportunity to the audience to explore the power of imagination. I get that. And I'm curious, I wanna challenge this, this concept. 
and mm, let's think about this. So that's the sculpture. And does the sculpture have to be in a certain space? And does I have to, does the sculpture needs to exist to be called a sculpture? And Does, is this just could this trigger in um, a slippery thing of artists not being responsible to create something because they can gay they can have their way to not do something but still doing art i don't know if it makes sense if it's the questions it does make sense i'm a little bit concerned of the fact that that's my concern with this it's what if every artist are doing this well obviously not every artist but it's a hypothetical hypothetical questions what if most of artists let's say start creating nothing but because there is the idea of nothing is something so my art i can make no art and that's my art and you need to recognize that nothing the concept it's something. This is so ah, oh, mind boiling. Okay, I I I I like I like the idea, I like the concept. It's more of a question of technicality. Yeah, this is really interesting. I'm actually start to. I'm thinking makes me think which that's the object of the artwork really in any case uh it could be in your face uh, make you thinking or a more illusion uh conceptual making the audience think and um yeah this is really interesting um and Let's go with another article. Always from the this is from the independent and always the same about the same thing. Uh, the Italian artist sells invisible sculpture for more than uh, twelve thousand pound. The sculpture doesn't physically exist. The artist claim uh, it's in the mind of the creator. Okay. Not really happy with that uh, statement, but um, accordingly, according to the Italian 20, Italy 24 news, Salvatore Garau sculpture, um, sculpture of uh, Io Sono, which means I am, uh, must be dis displayed in a private room away from uh, ob obstruction. Okay, this is one. Uh, um, this is for me where the concept of nothing makes sense. Follow me. So there are some rules, there are some structure, which I like um, when you display something. And <clears throat> is saying it needs to be kept in the area that is about <clears throat> five feet long and five feet wide lighting and environment control are optional due to the fact that there is no no there is no one can no one can see the artwork okay um <clears throat> the garao attract criticism over the claim that the sculpture is a material that's why i didn't like as well 
meaning the um, it either doesn't exist or exists only in the mind of the creator, which that's what I have a problem ish. Obviously, I don't really have a problem, but I have uh, an issue with it. But I like the fact that there are some there is there is a structure, there's some rules uh, on this sculpture. It's not it's not just a around a square. Let's remind this. It's not just that. It's the fact that the invisible sculpture needs to be away um, in a space feet foot long and feet foot wide. And why this is important, it's because creating that space, it's what creates the sculpture because it's not just nothing then because of the space that's at the rule the five foot wide and long that's what creates the sculpture from nothing there is something which is di di dictated by the rule I don't know if it makes sense what I'm saying but Try to follow me. I don't know. I don't even know if it makes sense for me what I'm saying, but I'm trying to make sense of this. Um, um, yeah, it, the sculpture defends this sculpture, the artist defending sculpture, and he's, he says it's more like a vacuum. And as we said before, the vacuum is nothing more than a space full of energy, which from nothing there is there is nothing has a weight so it means there is something i don't know this is for me just um a quote a something to grab um to grab on to explain what he's doing mm, i don't know if he kind of helps the situation um for me, it's, I don't know, it makes more sense the, um, that the sculpture exists because there is a rule. And the rule is it needs to be a space of five foot long and five foot wide to those, for the sculpture to exist, to give the space for your imagination to create something. Let's put it that way. So because of that, I think that sculpture makes kind of sense it's just funny that you paid 18,000 um, dollar for nothing the idea of that it's so funny to me this is that's so funny to me um, yeah so okay there is another video I think it's the same video and last week, Garau displayed another invisible sculpture, Buddha of Contemplation in Milan. And now the video states, now it exists and it will remain in this space forever. You do not see it, but it exists. It is made of hair and spirit. Cool. When it goes spiritual, it always throws me off anything in any way, in any, in any field. Um, but yes, so that's that's the artist. And that's really funny to me. This is really funny. I mean, to be honest, for I always think about the marketing, you know, side of this as well, because that's what artists do. And, you know, zoom in to have a... That's what artists need to do as well, especially now. And they need to be a brand. They need to sell an idea or something. And yeah, this is a marketing um, to make your name even more famous because it seems to be pretty not like notorious as an artist. Um, to be more, um, to be even more, I don't know how to put it as a marketing because it will create you know he's gonna create um 
uh, scandal. Like you, you know, when you do something like this, it's gonna be, and it seems to be that's what is kind of lame. Um, this kind of you know artwork, and but you know that creating something and selling because that's what the uh, controversial kind of thing. It's that he sold this nothing. Um, so that's why he made the, the news and that's why he, on social media everybody was talking about well, everybody, the artists were talking about this and yeah so as a market if it was intent as well as a marketing uh, plan uh, like for advertising great genius great idea and if it wasn't and it just happened good and but yeah so this is really interesting and now let's, now let's go with the final question and i want you guys to answer me this question in the comments and let me know if you think art is gone too far what i mean by this we just witnessed somebody buy nothing and this nothing is an artwork. So my question is, is art going too far? And um I kind of don't want to give my opinion just because I want I want to know what you think and I might we might come back uh, I can do like a little video or in the next artful news give my opinion about this and seeing your comments and let me know what you think so yeah is is art went too far and if it did if art went too far uh is that a problem or not or is always been like this um yeah so let me know in the comments thank you very much to i just wanted to talk about this 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 was so interesting and uh, for I, I think the conclusion for me it's just uh, it's funny that somebody bought nothing. This is so funny for me. I don't know why. I just find it hilarious. Somebody just bought nothing for a lot of money. They pay a lot of money for literally nothing. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, that's the conclusion of this video. Uh, thank you very much, guys, to listen to the podcast, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Let's grow. Let's make this uh, podcast big, and so we can have, we can talk about a lot of more. Um, and I can interview more artists as well. So let's keep going. Um, new video every week. Go check it out. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much, guys. If you're listening to uh, to the podcast on on Spotify, if Apple Podcast, uh, leave a review, download download the video, uh, download the um, the episodes. It's really important in those platform. Um, it's what well, it's valuable. It's if you download the video. So thank you very much, guys. I'll see you next week from the Artful Podcast. I'm out.